Hi YouTubers, um, I decided that I'm going to start making a video diary um, of my hair simply because I try to, um, I've tried to write it down um, and I always forget to write it down, I've tried to blog it and I always forget to blog it. So I'm going to start making a video um, so that you guys can follow what I do and I can just look back and think okay what did I do to my hair because sometimes you get those times when like you've used a product in your hair or you've done something to your hair and you forget what you did to make it feel that good or what you did to make it feel that bad so yeah I just want to tell you what I did today so today you can see I've got some curls going on um, and I knew that I wanted to you know, have my hair like this today, so I decided to do bentonite clay. So I mixed bentonite clay, I did a cup of bentonite clay with half a cup of marshmallow root powder and half a cup of cowpea tone, and I mixed that with coconut milk. And I don't know how, I think I put like four no three tablespoons of coconut milk and when I say tablespoons it's like creamy coconut milk the only coconut milk that I use is Dunn's River coconut milk because if I buy any other kind of coconut milk it's usually like really watery so I buy Dunn's River coconut milk put preservative in it leave it in the fridge and it goes all nice and creamy so yeah I use that um, and I put birch oil I put peppermint oil in there I put castor oil and I put argan oil so and I left that in my hair for like maybe f three hours with cling film on or saran wrap um, I think you Americans call it saran wrap and when I washed it out I um, didn't really want to wash my hair today because my water filter has broken and I have really hard water in my area so when I washed it out it did it did feel my hair felt really really soft but it felt like it had something on it but in a good way so I don't know if um, that's because of like the all the stuff that I mixed in or if taking the water filter out has made my hair feel different I don't know um, but I do like using bentonite clay in my hair anyway especially with marshmallow root powder um, and it was it was quite gritty but it rinsed out easy enough so I always split my hair in sections and then I rinse out each um, section so yeah that was quite it, it felt really 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 soft the cowpea tone had a slight um kind of curry smell to it but it didn't leave a curry smell in my hair and i tried a new product so i tried if you can see that um rain forest moisture by um, the body shop and I can't remember right now how much I paid for this but um, I will put it up and this is from their new range it says no silicones no colorants no parabens um, with precaxi pre 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 oil manchetti nut oil and community trade honey so I use manchetti nut oil in my deep conditioner that I make anyway um, and I've recently used Procaxi uh, oil as well so I thought yeah I might as well try this and oh, the ingredients let me tell you the other ingredients so yeah but this I like it it smells nice it smells it smells it smells like the rainforest actually I've never even been to a rainforest but if I went to a rainforest I'd imagine that it smelled like this it, it just it smelled divine and my whole bathroom was smelling like it when I used it and it's let me show you the thickness it is quite thick that's the 
thickness so it is quite thick um, and yeah I, I really liked it so what I did I detangled with this in this in my hair as well and it was quite easy and um, da -da 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 -da. yeah when I detangle I put my hair in um, big twists and then I rinse out the conditioner while my hair's in twists and then when I took the twists out to then put in my leave-in conditioner this it left my hair really really soft literally I felt like I could just go out just like that with my with with just rinsing this out and that's it my hair was really really soft Um, this is for moisture I bought another one as well which I haven't got on me at the moment it's in the bathroom which uh, the other ones for shine so yeah if you want to try body shops new range and I got buy one get one half price so I paid six pounds for two bottles which are 250 milliliters so six pounds for 500 milliliters of um, conditioner I think that's good so yeah, this was nice. So then, what did I do with my hair after that? So yeah, so I rinsed this out and then I put in my leave-in, which is my moisture custard, which looks like this. And it smells like ice cream. So yeah, then I put this in. And I have been working on um, my sea curls. Because I'm not happy with the formulation at the moment. That sea curls is what I've got in my hair right now. But um, what happened was, is I made one batch which I really, really didn't like. And it looks like this. It looks like vomit actually, which isn't, you know, that pleasant. I'm going to have to get up because... Whoop. And if you can see that but yeah I don't really like it it's a bit ugh. so when I put it on it looked like it wasn't gonna dry it looked like it was just gonna take forever to dry and this has got oils in it so I thought okay you know what I'm gonna do I'm going to reformulate it and I'm gonna take the oils out and I ended up with something that actually looks like a gel and I'm so excited so it looks like this and now watch this if I put my hands in I just love putting my whole hand in and bloop that's what it looks like but this is um, a second batch that I made today the first batch I made I actually just put on my hair straight away so it didn't have time to sit like this so I'm probably going to wash my hair again in the middle of the week. 
so that I can try what it is, what it's like when it's actually set properly because I think it might clump the curls a bit better. So yeah, that's what I did. Um, my hair isn't dry properly yet, but my curls are dried with hold, but not a crunch. So they are slightly stiff but I don't have a crunch on them. So the next thing that I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try mixing some coconut milk in with the C curls. Um, and I did a little bit here. That's what this one looks a little bit runnier because obviously it's got the coconut milk in it. So yeah. That's what I did with my hair today. And I just wanted to tell you about my new product. And yeah, this is really kind of more so for me than for you guys. But you also you can follow what I'm doing with my with my products. And I've been working on Sea Curl since last year. Like I've been working on Mango Twist since last year, but Mango Twist is finalized now. If the safety assessor ever gets back to me. Um but yeah, and I want to finalise this. This is almost finalised as well. Um, but this has got coconut milk in it. And like I said to you, I like using Dunn's River coconut milk. And I can't exactly put on the ingredients list Dunn's River coconut milk. Um, and I can just put coconut milk, but I just don't think it's good to be buying supermarket coconut milk to put in something that I want to sell commercially. So I do have coconut milk powder to try. In this formulation so we'll see how that works I'm probably gonna go I'm really tired it's time to go to bed probably gonna go to bed with a shower cup on my head to that tonight a baggy because this isn't completely dry it's a bit wet in the roots but I like it do you like it do you like my hair it's bouncy and has curls let me just show you. Um, oh, this camera is so weird. I'm still getting used to things being back to front. And also I'm zoomed in at the moment, so I don't even know how close to get. So. Okay, so video diary in a week's time. See you soon.